The U.S. warned on Tuesday, that was August 15th, it would continue to punish Iran's non-nuclear destabilizing activities after Hassan Rouhani said his country would restart its nuclear program within hours if Washington imposes new sanctions. In his first address to Iran's parliament since being sworn into a second term, the Iranian president suggested his country could quickly ramp enrichment up to levels even higher than before it signed a nuclear accord with world powers. Now, responding to Mr. Rouhani's threats, a U.S. State Department official said the Trump administration remains committed to addressing the full range of threats Iran poses to the United States and regional stability, including its continuing ballistic missile development. Now, the exchange comes as tensions between Tehran and Washington increase over the 2015 accord that lifted international economic sanctions in return for strict limits on Iran's nuclear production capabilities. Iran tested a powerful new ballistic missile last month that resulted in new U.S. sanctions, and last week Parliament voted overwhelmingly to increase budget spending to $260 million U.S. million for the ballistic missile program, which is not limited by the nuclear deal. Now, the vote also covered a Further, $260 million U.S. dollars spending on regional operations of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Foreign Wing, the Quds Force, that's the Quds Force, which is leading a range of militias, militias, excuse me, <laughs> militias in Syria and Iraq. So we have that now. Um, you can... Just put that in the box with North Korea, another threat lurking out there, another potential uh, nuclear exchange taking place. Maybe it'll be with Iran and not North Korea. But while this is certainly something to keep an eye on, I'm becoming increasingly skeptical, as I've been saying, of these potential uh, military engagements, nuclear wars, missiles being fired. Not to say these things couldn't or won't happen, but it seems more likely right now, ladies and gentlemen. Our, not more likely, but certainly, our main issue is here domestically. It's internally. It is our society and our culture. It is alt-left and alt-right and alt-this and alt-that. We are so terribly divided and balkanized in this nation And this is what the powers that be want. They are instigating this. They are financing this. They are motivating this. This is purely satanic. This is all in... uh, It's all part of the design to tear America up and bring it down in order to absorb it into the one world system. That is where our largest problem exists right now. Not with Iran or North Korea, not to say that they aren't problems, but what is going on here eternally, internally and eternally within our own society and culture. And it all comes down to a lack of Jesus. That's really what it is, bottom line. Anyway, folks, thank you for hearing me out. Please, uh, I'll leave a link to this, and I'd ask you to check out the links to my fiction books and to my music in the description area below this video. There's also a couple of um, live in the living room recordings of a pair. uh, There's two of my songs. There's videos here on this channel you can find. One is called Hope. One is called This Desert on Wings Like Eagles. Again, just basic live in the living room. Um, Please subscribe to my channel. Please, um, again, check those things out. Don't be given over to the spirit of fear, folks, but of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.